Hello my friend, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel. Okay, what are we going to do today? We need to solve this interesting problem, we need to simplify this. We have a square root of a long product, we have 60, 61, 62, we multiply it and in the end we add 1. How could we solve it? On the first side we can multiply it in our telephone, but it's not our case and we need to find tricks because we will learn math, we need to find our math tricks right here. First of all I want to show you this trick. Take a look closely, we have real close numbers 60, 61, 62, 63. And if we go with substitution, so let 60 equal to n for example, then look closely, right here n, so right here 61, this is n plus 1, right here n plus 2 and n plus 3, yeah? So I hope you understand this step. If you're talking about substitution, this is our moment. What we have as a result? We have square root of a long product. We have n times n plus 1, times n plus 2 and times n plus 3 and in the end plus 1. And right now I'm going to use a little bit trick, tricky moment right now because I wanted to multiply it. So this in the middle I wanted to multiply it by itself and this right here I want to multiply it. We can do this because all product we can easily do this. We have square root. If we multiply this n times n plus 3 we will have n square plus 3n. Yeah, we have this moment. And right now multiplying these two parentheses, we will have the next one. We will have n square plus 3n and plus 2. We will have this case and plus 1 in the end. So what I did right now, I multiply parentheses this first with this force and this in the middle by itself. And right now if you look closely to this to this product we can see that n square plus 3n we have right here and n square plus 3n we have right here. So if we go with substitution, so let this n square plus 3n equal to for example t, we will have really interesting moment right now because we will have that right here t, only our t, so we have t times right here t plus 2, t plus 2 and plus 1. If we open parentheses, we will have t square plus 2t and plus 1. Yeah, so this is our moment when we substitute it by t. And right now, if we look closely to this, t square plus 2t plus 1, this is our, our identity because we can write it as t plus 1 square. Yeah, so all these under the square root sign we can write as t plus 1 square. So take a look closely, square root right here, only t plus 1 square. So we only can write it as t plus 1 square. And right now, right here square, we can cancel with this square root sign, so this is equal to t plus 1. So all this square root equal to t plus 1, but moreover t equal to n square plus 3n. So we'll have n square plus 3n and it with this plus 1. And the last step, let's go to our first substitution, so n equal to 60. So we will have 60 square plus 180 and plus 1. Adding all of these, we'll have 3681. This is our answer. Of course, we can write, we can solve it in another way. We can write it as a, as a product, uh, multiplying it as we teach at school. 60 times 61, have a result, then times 62 times 63. But, but as you can see, we have right here square root sign. So maybe we multiply it, we'll have like a huge number, like, like 1 million with something. But we, can, we don't know about square root sign with this number. So this is a best trick with this problem. If you still have any question, write a question in a comment. If it's not hard to you, leave a like, write any comment because it's, it's really important. And if you enjoyed this video, I think it's, it's really good when you appreciate it. And when I appreciate it as well, it's, it's really good because it's improved my content. And thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.